I am joined by my predecessor, the queen who <laughs> crowned me. Please uh, welcome Miss Violet Chachki. Hello. Thank you so much for having me, Bob. It is an honor to be here. Oh, I love you. Hello, everyone. It's me, Violet Chachki. Are you look gorgeous? I feel gorgeous. I have no pants on. <laughs> by the way, happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, 25 again. For the fifth time? Yeah. You are a cabaret artist, you are a fashion girl, and you've been critiqued by a several many judges. So I'm also uh, a stand-up comedian. So it really does. It's like, you know, full, <laughs> the complete circle of performance. So please go check out Violet's new stand-up special on Amazon Prime. Girl, you will talk about your Amazon special till the, it'll be on your gravestone. Like, well, please. until I make my money back, I'm gonna keep. It. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think she's younger than me, but she yeah, just yeah. has the energy of the old queen who works in the club, who smokes cigarettes, and is like, "I'm gonna give it to you straight." Well, a lot of people are younger than you, so let's start with that. Oh, she is a comedian. <laughs> So wait a minute, you knew BB, but you also knew the other BB, Bianca. I knew, I knew me and Bianca did a show together before I was on. And then I knew, um, I knew Tyra from coming to New York a couple of times. Um, Violet, I had worked with her before. We were both on Drag Race. Violet. Violet Chosky. Chosky. Uh -huh. Season seven. Yes, yes. Seven winner. So well, you said you go down to Atlanta. What club is happening in Atlanta now? The Filming. jungle still? The, let me tell you about the jungle, girl. Okay. The jungle's where I met Violet Chosky. Everybody has a violent story. Before we were on Drag Race. <laughs> but before both of you were on. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh huh. And I met this queen with, the, I mean, with the smallest waist. That, that was at Stage 48 in New York City. Uh huh. And um, Violet Chashki and Shangela crowned me. By the way, Shangela is two feet tall. She's a little, she's a little one. Um, and they gave me this big check, which I wanted to take to the bank and be like, hey, I just like trying to put <laughs> That would be amazing. The ATM, like, it won't. Um, and it, I mean, it was great. Violet pinned the, the crown on my head, and she was like, good luck, girl. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, girl. Did you know her very well? I mean, we were both from Atlanta. Right. We both met before we were on RuPaul's Drag Race, and we knew we know each other. Like, right. We're not like best Judys or anything, but, uh -huh. but we're, well, we know each other. Yeah, we're acquaintances. Okay. We're both ATL girls. She didn't whisper in your ear, I'm going to fucking kill you, bitch. No, yeah, she was like, <laughs> this is your demise. <laughs> and she pulls the pig's blood and falls on my head. I'm like, oh. Oh, this is Bob the Drag Queen, renter of season eight, which is crazy to say. Crazy. But it happened. I got tear streaks down my face, and I'm here. First, first! First, first! A lot of trans women prefer to be tops, and, to, and a lot of drag queens as well. I think you're one of them. I, I am one of the ones. <laughs> I think, no question. Since we're on the subject, have you ever, you've topped someone in drag fully? I've never topped anyone in drag. What? I have one, I have, but not you yeah, acting girl. like you just invented the drag. It's not Violet Chachki when she overshadowed me. That was gaggy. When Violet <laughs> Chachki came out when I went drag race, that was a gag. Not this look. It was fine. I think that sometimes skinny people think they don't need to, but Violet has shown you when you're skinny and you cinch, you hurt everybody's feelings. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Bitch. I think two Ooh. of probably the most legendary finale designers are probably House of Caney and um, and yeah. Diego. Like, yeah, for sure. And what it is, you just need one time to f the game up, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is the this is the one." Like, this is the guy who does, or the girl, or the person who does finale shit. House of Caney is good. That Violet Chashki step down shit. Um, three people used House of Caney in their finales. Three, since it was Violet, and then your your, your uh, Trinity, and then oh, yeah. um, Jada also wore House of Caney. Maybe my crush needs to be on Shay out of drag. Shay's workroom look was so good this week. When I was on Drag Race, I just did not put that much thought into how I looked in the workroom. I looked a mess as a boy in the workroom and in confessional. Because I was so stressed out packing, I didn't even think about packing Same. out of drag looks. So let's say we're doing Drag Race Superstars, the all winter season. Are mm -hmm. you gonna play mind games or are you gonna like try to be straightforward? Well, the real question is, are you gonna be doing the season with me? Oh, I'll be there. Okay, I'll be there too. So now you have to think about stuff like 
Is Violet nice to me? Did Violet send me home? I feel like I would be sent home immediately by the other girls. We are gonna go find Violet Chosky. You, Jesus Christ, white people scare me. Is Violet in here? Violet Chosky? Voss Events, uh, Work the World was, it is amazing. It's the best drag show I've ever been a part of. The biggest drag show I've ever been a part of. Violet was so nice Shocking. to me. On this tour, I was like, is she I was like, is she gonna hit me? Like, hey, what's going on? I was like, when's the other shoe gonna drop? At one point, Violet looked at me and she goes, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> and I went, oh. <laughs> I was like, what when is it gonna come? Violetta. I love her. Um, but Violet and Violet and Cameron Michaels were like my saving graces when I filled in. Really? They I mean, held my hand, walked me through the entire show. Cameron was on stage being like, Bob, go over there. Now go over there. Now we're doing you know that that big Y'all just walking in circles in the beginning. I'm like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> when I went to work, the world was one, like Cameron and Violet, I've said it before, were the nicest queens. They stayed behind, made sure I knew every single move. They really like spent a lot of time with me when I filled in for you on work the world. So I'm I'm always grateful to Violet and Cameron for doing that. I love Violet, Bob. I, I love, love Violet love, Joshua. Love yeah, Violet. she's great. Someone took some terrible fan art from of Violet from the meet and greet, just like clicking her fan art. <laughs> and then every room Violet would go to would be fan art <laughs> on the door. <laughs> Which by the way, the, the, our, our listeners, they want Violet to be a guest on the podcast. I love Violet. I love Violet too. We say it all the time. We, we don't want to make her head even bigger. I mean, we, it also took us, what, uh, three seasons to get Bianca? Bob, are we gonna, are you gonna watch Violet? Should we watch Violet Tchotchke's um Yes, the, yes, the answer is yes. I don't even need, to, I don't even need a Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna come over. We're gonna watch it. If we're both when is it again? The thirtieth. Yeah, let's do it. I love Violet. I'm a. I I'm a, love Violet. And before I met yeah, her, we, I'm bitch, like, we are turning this podcast into a Violet Stan account. <laughs> I know. And before I met her, I was like, oh, she sounds exhausting. I'm not gonna like this bitch. And I am obsessed with Violet. I love her. Yeah, when I heard about, it, I was like, she sounds exhausting. I met her and I was like, oh my gosh, she is exhausting. And then <laughs> I got through the exhaust and I woke up and I'm like, I love this. We had our arguments and now we're good. When I first did Work the World, so the first Work the World I did, Violet was on it, but she was really, she was very sporadic on it. This was in 2018. So we didn't really interact. And then when we did the second leg together, we, you know, we were around each other more. And then one day Violet, she, she Violet comes up to the little uh, uh, performer table with all the snacks and all the shit that you should not be eating that they need to stop putting that shit on tour. Was she wearing not... her, her her Prada heels that she, she wobbles was, in? She, she was wearing her she was wearing her Louboutins with her Violet Chachki robe and her uh, gaff on and her They're not Louboutins, they're, pro, they're Prada heels. No, she was, she was wearing Louboutins and I was Oh, she her. switched? Because cause her rule is it's Prada or Nada. That is literally her little saying. They were black Louboutins and like she has a little gaff on with all of her pubic hair, just like a afro puff, just sticking out around it. And then she walks in, she has a cheese in her hand, she goes, who are you? And I was like, you bitch, you know who I am. We're on the tour together. But, um, yeah, I love Violet. Yeah, we should, we stand, we stand. Violet. Violet Chachki. Actually, Violet Chachki and I have been talking a lot about that on this uh, drive and drag tour. Who would have thought me and Violet talking? But um, what's funny Violet, is that- by the way, you know, Violet ended up being one of my favorite people to She's so funny. People don't oh, realize Violet it. is, she is so, she's actually really sweet. She, I yeah. mean, we did get into a fight. I, it, is, it is on the record that I have argued with more Rue girls on tour than, than anybody. I argued with, <laughs> I argued yeah, with Jake, I know. Violet, I've heard the stories. <laughs> Of all the queens you tour with, who would you rather be? The, who would you most like want to be uh, roommates with? Kim Chi. Kim Chi. Yeah. And who would you least want to be roommates with? Violet. <laughs> you heard it here. I didn't say it. A little short story. So when we went on the Asia Australia tour of Work the World uh, t uh, 2020, some type of liquid spilled somewhere, and then and it fell on Violet's suitcase. And then we, when we got to the next city, she opened a suitcase and bitch. A lot of her clothes were like, like her fashion, like her fashionable stuff was soaked. Her red bottoms were soaked in water. So you know, Violet went Gag. the f in, and then come to find Gag. out later, nothing spilled. The f heck guy was mad at Violet, and he opened a bottle of of stuff on her stuff. Yes, bitch, gag. Is that crazy? <laughs> and just poured it on her belongings. It was water, but still water damage to her. Stuff. And she was like, oh no, No, baby. I know, that's wild. You cannot, anyone who tours knows you cannot pack stuff away when it's wet. You cannot do that. If it yeah. comes out musty, it, uh -huh. it smells bad, 
it, 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 no, that's, um, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. It I cannot, that is wild. That is, yeah. I would, I would fight. I would want to fight. I would want to hit someone. Me and Jinx got into an argument one time. Right. Oh, I love. But you, you tell your, did you say, did you say the Alaska one? I mean, Alaska, we talked about it one oh, time. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Me and Alaska have gotten into an argument. Me and uh, Violet have gotten into an argument. Me and Jinx. Me and Thor what is the common denominator <laughs> here, <everyone? Lucian. laughs> What is the common denominator here? They, they don't know how to treat me. <laughs> The only difference is like when you and I go in the room, I don't come back with any stories of me fighting. <laughs> because <laughs> every time I used to come back for other time, I'd be like, girl, me and me and Alaska, girl, me and Violet, girl, me and Jinx, girl, we was fighting. Girl, the girls was fighting. Violet can be fighting. Me and Violet, we've had our moments on uh <laughs> Work the World. Me and Violet, uh, one of my most favorite lines of all time was me and Violet are like standing toes. We were thinking Violet short. Violet is like six foot one or six feet tall. Violet walks around backstage, she never takes off her heels the whole time, and she's wearing just her gap and her robe. So I'm in, I'm on my feet, Violet is in her shoes, we're nose to nose, we are in San Francisco, I mean, screaming at each other, and then Violet goes, I'm just here trying to eat my chicken. And then I said, well then go eat your chicken, bitch. Well bitch, we were in the green room. You were like, get out of my dressing room. And I was like, this is the green room, first of all. <laughs> Violet! Violet! All right, she's hiding from us, obviously. I I thought it was I thought it was burlesque. And did, you were like, eh, burlesque! I mean... Well, she was giving very, I don't know. There's different ideas of what burlesque is and what burlesque isn't. For, for me, it was more cabaret vibes. Like, the whole bit is a bit cabaret, but it's burlesque. I mean, it's the same shit. I'm just being annoying for no reason. <laughs> Let's talk about Cameron's look. Hey, I mean, hey, I hate it. I absolutely think it's horrible, and I'm glad they went home. <laughs> I do. This look. I don't want to say. It. I'm trying to not be super mean. Well, I mean, you told you said you're glad Cameron went home, and now you want to be nice. Well, that was about fashion, and this is just about someone's IQ. I just don't think <laughs> they're the sharpest cookie in the bunch. You know what I mean? I I, I tweeted. I don't know, one day I was just at home and I posted something, or I don't, I don't know what it was. I, I, just, I, I just get a text from, from Violet that says, you could never. And I was like, what did I even do? What did you do to say? I don't know. She like, never followed up. Never followed up, you could never. The table of the time that her and I were, um, we were in, like I think Austin, Texas, where they have the scooters? Austin. So we go up and we're like, uh, we just walk in to get coffee. And me and Kenny are like falling up the bag. Love and I walk up and I say, oh my God, Violet, you look really cool today. And she goes, all right. <laughs> and I was like, where well, she goes, I said, you look really, oh, okay, I get it. Bobby, we got it. You do your jokes all the time. <laughs> You're always telling your little jokes. And I was like, I, I genuinely wasn't trying to tell a joke. I think you have this, this, your Prada fanny pack and these like fire shorts look cool and like these glasses and the boots. It just, it, this is a genuinely cool look. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. And then she zooms off on her scooter and I was like, <laughs> I was, kidding, I was like, what just I what? love that. I was like, what the f just happened? I love that. He was like, Bob, trust me, girl. It's Bob, I'm with the press. <laughs> She's literally butt naked. I'll just describe what I'm seeing. I'm looking at the winner of season seven. She's literally butt naked. Listening to music, cleaning her lace, very responsible. So work the world, Violet Chosky was legendary for black. I mean, oh, yo, DJ Chosky. She still does. She still does it. We called her DJ Chosky. She would play her music so, so loud. I mean, blasting DJ Chosky. It was obnoxious, and people were like, "We don't want to be in the room with her." Yeah, because she's her music is just too loud. Yeah. yeah. She it's like, to like EDM. EDM. Yeah, it's, it's like deep it's like, house. EDM. It's like it's shit similar to the, that song she just released. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very like. Yeah. It's very. It's, no it feels, words. It feels very cyclic. So you feel like it's the same song over and over. And again. Yeah. You feel like you've been listening to one song for like an hour and a half, and, <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, I can't. And then when her do it, when when so she did this when I was on work the world, and Kim started blasting, um, for the first time. Oh yeah. So Kim Kim hates it. And Kim is very passive aggressive. So Kim just started playing music that she knows she'll hate uh -huh. really fing loud. Uh -huh. It was wild. Yeah. The speaker um, battle, it was crazy. Welcome to Backstage at Work the World. 
Oh, there she is. Oh, the goddess of season seven, ladies and gentlemen. Ass and all. Years ago, Sharon Needles, her crown went missing. And then... Went missing? Yeah, it went, like she went, she did a gig, wore her crown to the gig, which Alaska used to do that too. I never wore my crown anywhere. I never wore my crown anywhere. Um, she wore the, she wore the, she, so the, the crown was stolen. Huh. And then later, a picture of Violet before Drag Race wearing the crown posted on her Instagram. Because you could so did Sharon leave it in Atlanta? Because someone, so, like, so, someone stole it somewhere near Atlanta. Or in North Sharon Neal, she, she got drunk. Left, yeah. And oh. she left it at the A blood orange, uh, uh, sir. <laughs> Girl. Um, <laughs> anyway, so then Violet took a picture in it, which is supposed to be bad luck, but apparently it's not because Violet's crushing it these days. To be fair, I did not watch the piss up this season. Um, <laughs> that, that's not true. But I did watch the piss I watched, like, a, I watched my episode. Um, and I watched Violet's episode. Which also, like, where is that energy for, like, I'm not trying to get y'all to descend on Violet, but, like, Monet was like, Monet was like, Monet was like, I don't like your shoes. And Violet was like, burn your house with the drag in it. Quit drag. Go down to, take your ass down to the unemployment. Take your ass down to the welfare. You know what I mean? Um, and I was like, this just doesn't seem proportionate. I do think that you and I get significantly harsher critiques for being critical than pretty much any other review show. This is true. I agree with that. Because, I mean, I love Violet. Violet is mean. Mean. Mean, mean. Trixie has had some harsh opinions. All of them. Yeah. Also, but Violet was recently blonde, and we both agree it's a no for us. Well, we can say that. She looks... I, I I prefer Violet with dark hair. Yeah, I did not like the she blonde. She looks great with dark hair. Yes. <laughs> okay, but does she look good in blonde? Yes. Okay, <laughs> she looks really good with dark hair. Violet looks really good with dark hair. <laughs> I'm a little scared of Violet. <laughs> She's a bully. She is a bully. In three words, describe Violet Trotsky. Skinny, icon, and mean. Ooh, you heard it here first. Skinny icon mean. I feel like that's like touching on her body. Yeah, like a skinny, a skinny mean icon. Violet, thank you so much for joining your icon. And with that, go have your chicken, bitch. Mm, I am, bitch. This is the green room. <laughs> All right, thank you, girl. Bobby, my birthday, very special. He got me like cupcakes, and Bob and Caddy put together this compilation of all my friends telling me happy birthday, and it was very sweet. Patty got most of the family members, and I got the Drag Race girls. By the way, should we talk about the girls who said they would send the videos and didn't? Oh, tell, oh, tell me, let's oh, say their names. Say their names. Should we talk about the girls who said they'd send the videos and did not, Mama? Yes, tell me, who, tell me. Violet kept saying she would do it, but didn't do it. Oh, Violet because she was too busy, she was too busy walking, walking her, her little dog in, in, in her little fashion show. That's why she can send a video. Okay, okay, yeah. And, and I told her when I said, guys, just do thirty seconds. It doesn't have to be just like on the go. It can be anything. 